Hi folks, the Filipino Pi here. And those of you with any experience in the Philippines might have noticed some very toxic traits in our society. Things like crab mentality, the importance of status, and the never-ending quest to provide for our families can be hardwired in, and it can be very frustrating to deal with someone who's been so heavily affected by their upbringing. This can cause a lot of friction, and you might end up feeling like you have to be your Filipinas therapist. But no matter how you try to help us see the light, we're often unwilling or unable to change. When it comes to our toxic mentality, are Filipinas brainwashed? To get to the bottom of the issue, I decided to talk to local women and see if they were aware of what was going on. They were surprisingly candid about the subject and their answers were illuminating. What are your thoughts on toxic Filipino mentality? As a Filipino eldest daughter, there's a lot of pressure um, forced into you. Ah. Um, first of all, when you are studying, of course, many people would think that you have to be the best of everything. You have to have good grades when you grow up. Like it's a must to like you know go back and provide for your family once you have a job. Mm -hmm. And I think that's not a problem. But there are some considerations when you consider it as a toxic mentality. For example, if that person has a job and mm -hmm. he has goals of his own, for example, he wants to provide for, a fa for his family or he wants to, you know, go out of the Philippines and travel around. Mm -hmm. But he cannot do all those things. He cannot follow his goals because he's thinking of the family, the, the family you know, give back to the family, yes, you know, that mentality. And I think it's nice naman na you think about your family, but sometimes you have to put thought on yourself, food. like you have to think you about have, yourself and yeah, you your, have to, your wants. Exactly. You have diba? to prioritize yourself before you can take care of others. Uh, yes. Others needs. Family members yeah. should like know when and where to ask, ask for yeah. money. And you know that when they see that their sons or their children are like, you know, having financial problems as well with his or her job because, you know, you just got the job. You yeah. Know, you don't instantly get rich right away, you know. Parents think like their children are their like, you know, financial like, piggy bank. Ah, like some, okay. Yes. Like your like, retirement plan. Retirement plan. Yes, that's yeah. the term like I'm looking for. <laughs> yeah. Some people think that way and I don't know. I think that's part of the Filipino culture. I'm actually a first year student mm -hmm. in Silliman University and I'm forced to take a medical related course but this is not actually my passion in life. Did they decide for you what course? They don't verbalize that they're trying to force me into something but it's easily like you know I easily see it like just by the way they say like you know they recommend they say, they say to me um, Abigail maybe you should take nursing or you should take any medical course because that will make you know that's easy easy, easy money. money okay yes. easy money for yes. you yes. then easy money for us as well yes okay but the, the thing is that if I'm not if I'm taking a course that I'm not passionate about then that would mean that I'm not going to be happy in the future you know what's your passion what do you want to do um, I really want to um, become a businesswoman, an entrepreneur? Oh, I, I think you do yes. great. I think you do great. Do your parents want you to go out of the country and get Definitely. a job there? Yes. Okay, that's the main reason. They that's push, the main dri yes, driver. Of so they that you have mm -hmm. to take this, so that it's easier for you to get out of the country. Yes, it's easier to get out of the country because you know med tech, the job, a medical technology outside in the Philippines, it's it earns like a lot of money here in the Philippines. It's very minimal. Very minimal. Toxic Filipino mentality. Yes. Can you name a few? Actually, there's a lot, but but I'll just give three. Okay. So the manana habit. Okay, manana habit. Yeah, and they come what may. Bahala na. Uh, bahala na, and then the patronage politics. Okay, so explain first, manana habit. Manana habit is like when you have something to do and you're always saying that I'll just do it later, even if you have a time. Always saying that I'll just do it later because I'm tired, but mm -hmm. you have nothing, you, you're you doing nothing. And then you Basically, don't, you're just lazy? Yeah. <laughs> you will go into the point that you have your things to do is like they are... Oh, it's piling up. Yeah. Okay, that's really bad. Okay, so second, second, bahala na. Come what may she believe. Bahalana is like when you are you are just gonna say mo fate ba. Okay, so you're just gonna leave it to God. Yeah, if what will happen to your future and you're just, you'll just say bahalana if what will happen to me. Mm -hmm. You're not gonna doing your best or you you will not just work hard for your future. You'll just wait for God to yeah, give you blessings. Something that's the first toxic Filipino that all all of the 
people here. Yeah, that's very, very toxic because instead of actually working harder for yourself and to improve your quality of life, you're just waiting like, ah, bahala na. The next one is the uh, political patronage. Yeah. It's very rampant here. Correct me if I'm wrong. We do have vote buying here. Yes, we do. That's why we're very poor. Yeah. <laughs> It is the main problem here in our country. Yes, the corruption. <laughs> yeah, because the people here is not is not pointing the leaders to become a leader. Ah, okay. They are just pointing them because they're giving money. Giving money or if you're famous. Uh -uh. If you're an actor or yeah. a singer or a dancer. If you're so an actress. They're not pointing you because of the good things that you did or mm. your works. They're pointing you because they have given you a money. Obviously, they're buying. They're buying the. Uh, That's the why the Philippines are not progressing. Yeah, we keep on voting for people who are unworthy. It's just gonna be the same thing over and over. No changes. Yeah. Start, no. Start voting with... for the right people. People. All right. So, Miga, what toxic Filipino mentality do you know of? Like, can you name a few? Envy. Envy. Okay. Uh, envy. Yeah. Okay. And... Crab mentality. Okay, crab mentality and, and uh, also this uh, control parenting, you know? Control parenting. Okay, let's talk about envy first. Can you, uh, can you give me an example? Oh my God, that is very fresh. Who's oh. envious of you? <laughs> I don't blame him or her to be envious of you. The most recent is actually when I got my license. Your license yeah. as what? To a kill? License. No, oh, no. <laughs> licensed professional teacher. Ah, actually, I'm already a teacher. You're already a teacher. Yeah. Congratulations! So you got <laughs> your license um, to teach. So you're now yes. a professional teacher. You can teach, and then the envy started from your neighbor. Correct. Uh, they even questioned me. Oh, question why? you? Yeah. Why is she able to pass it? And you know, well, you went to study, and you yeah, know, yeah, it's your hard work. So <laughs> correct. So they don't want you to succeed. So correct. they're very yeah. envious. Okay. Do you Indeed. think that's very common in our society? Yes, that is uh, really um, common in the Philippines. And, and I guess it's also similar to the crab mentality, which correct, is yeah. crab mentality is basically you know when you see crabs in a bucket and yes. then they're trying to pull you down correct. because they don't want. You to be up there and mm -hmm. then them here still miserable. Yes, they want. Okay, uh, they want you to uh, having the same feeling as theirs. Oh, like, misery yeah. loves company. Your Ganyan. happiness is there. You know. <laughs> ah, okay. So they they don't like. They feel when, bad about it. Whenever you are happy. Okay. Yeah. So the third one is the uh, control parenting. parenting. When it comes to decision making. Oh, okay. Because they are just concerned that, you know, we we know that they have this uh very common or I mean well known codes like, you know, parents knows best, like that. Oh, not so, no, not not necessarily. <laughs> Even though you're already, you know, you're already an adult. Um, you're over 18, but yet they're still trying to control every little detail of your life. Yes. <laughs> like some, some parents, they would actually control who you partner with. Yeah. The, yes. they will choose a husband for you. Not necessarily a, um, an arranged marriage, but somehow yes. it's almost like being forced on you. Yeah, actually, it's one of my friends experienced that, that Ooh. you know, they have a relationship and with my classmate and, you know, <laughs> they just told their children or I mean that my friend that, you know, you're too young. So basically, yeah. we follow what our parents <laughs> tell us most of the time. Yes, correct. Because we Filipinos, you know, we set the standard of being respectful to our parents. You know, we should uh, give always honor to them you don't have choice and they uh, sometimes they also do this the guilt tripping they know which buttons to to push to feel guilty okay so you've experienced all those three envy uh crab mentality and at some point your control, uh, par uh, control parenting. parenting yes okay so uh, as a society if we are not happy with the success of our fellow men then how can we succeed as a whole right correct okay mm -hmm. same thing with the crab mentality and everything yeah. when it comes to control parenting it's making your child very dependent on you right yes and we can say that our mother knows best but actually we only you know we ourselves only what best for us or mm -hmm. 
what we love the most, you know, let them explore, yeah, discover themselves and yes. make it a motivation, you know, it should be inspires you to do better as well, right? So, Miga, can you give me an example of toxic Filipino mentality? So, one of the toxic Filipino mentality that I can think of right now is that, um, like, sometimes people be, uh, judge you based on what you're wearing. Oh, me, just like what you're wearing yeah. right now? And I mine, mean, charm. <laughs> As a society, do you think it's very rampant here? It's like, it's, yeah. it's very common. Yeah. People would, are very judgmental. Yeah, I would say. <laughs> Filipinos uh, are judgmental. <laughs> especially in the town that I came from. Mm -hmm. Is this your happy dress? Yes, it is. You're feeling happy. happy today? Yeah, I love pink. You so. love pink? Oh, yeah. okay. All right. Can you think of other toxic Filipino mentality? Like, children has to, you know, had like a mentality that they have to give back to their parents after Ah, college. the famous utang na loob. Yeah, utang na loob. <laughs> yeah, you have to give back to your family because you owe it to them. Yeah. Do you believe in that mentality though? Do you believe in that concept? For me, I, I would say, yeah, yes na lang because, okay, I do think that's like common. Okay. But for me personally, I don't... You don't it, think it's a bad thing? No, I do think it's a bad thing. But like, but for me personally, like, I want to give back to my parents. It's my own will to give back to them, but not they're, they're not pressuring me to do it. Uh, why do you think that is bad though? Because well, like, when you fail at something, like, you feel like you're failing your parents as well. Ah, okay. So if you if you can't get give back, then you're like you feel like a failure. Yeah, you you feel like a failure, and you feel like you know you 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 feel like you're failing your parents as well. Omega, have you heard that some people call us toxic? We yeah. have this toxic Filipino mentality. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Can you give me an example? Uh, personally, something I experience is parents only thinking that being a doctor, a lawyer, an architect, or an engineer is the only acceptable the only career acceptable? choice. Okay. It's the only respectable one, though, mm -hmm. because it's the one that makes more money. It has a higher status. Oh, status. Stop talking about status, it's very important here to mm. be respected and to have a title, that mm -hmm. kind of stuff. Because people sometimes treat you according to your profession, mm -hmm. not because you're a decent person. Mm -hmm. Okay, so are your parents pressuring you to be an engineer, to be a doctor? Uh, I'm a first year in college already and I have a business I'm taking a business course and mm -hmm. until now my father is still pressuring me to change course change course and go into med uh -huh. or continue into law which I am not very inclined to do so okay do they ask what you want though I mean do they, they care if you're happy or not yeah they are supporting me but there is still the snide comments where they're like oh it's better in med because money yeah because of the money <laughs> Forcing our children to be doctors and engineers? It's more so on the Asian expectations also. Yeah. Because that's usually the route that most Asian parents take. Oh. They expect their children to be these big people in society where most of the time it doesn't allow it doesn't align to our personal career choices. Okay. Aside from the financial aspect. They want the status as well. Mm -hmm. I look at my child, his, mm. and she's this and she's that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Do you think that's healthy? No. Because I know a lot of people who are forced to take the career choices their parents choose. I'm very grateful that my parents let me take my own course. But I know people who are forced and that are not happy with their career choice and their future professions also. It's very toxic because... First of all, as their children, we were not asked to be born exactly into the world. <laughs> I didn't get the memo. Do you think we are brainwashed from birth? Mm. <laughs> I, can, I can see I that. Can see I can it. say that too. In a way, because it's almost like instilled in us mm -hmm. that you have to. It's just the way the society was structured mm. for generations. It's okay to give back to your family as long as you can. I mean, as long as, long as you're capable mm -hmm. to do so. But in some families, they are really required or mm -hmm. sometimes they want to have a lot of children so that, you know, a lot of income, a lot of people working for them. But do you think it's okay though? Or should we change that? 
I believe that we should change that because everyone should have their own choice on the matter, on what they want to pursue in the future because it is their life that they're living, not their parents. So did you see any behavior you recognized? Identifying problems is one thing, but doing something about them is totally different. I know a lot of you have to wrestle with some unpleasant realities when it comes to the attitudes of your Filipina partner. And the only advice I can give you is to be patient. She's had this stuff drilled into her head since she was born, and it might take a lot more drilling to get it out again. Well, that's it for this episode, and I'll be back on Tuesday with something fresh. Till then, folks. If you think about it, I'm like Bond, James Bond, delivering classified intelligence for your eyes only. With a license to kill misinformation and bad advice, it's my mission to get you the truth about the Philippines. All I ask for my secret service is that you give a thumbs up on this video, subscribe to my channel, and visit my Patreon page for extra content and exclusive features. And while you're waiting for your next debriefing, Check out some of my other videos too. Well, that left me shaken, but not stirred.